some habits have the potential to change your life forever and in today's video we are going to be talking about a few of them a few that i have personally applied in my life and saw like massive changes and i really think that some of them may help you out as well no matter at which point of your life you are in so the first thing that i'd like to start with is cleaning so this habit of cleaning it sounds really cool to tell people that oh my god my room is so messy my mom keeps scolding me but honestly cleaning makes your soul feel very happy i'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this book called tidying up by mary kondo it's available on storytel by the way so if you want to check it out just use my free trial code and check the book out and check like 80000 books out at the same time with that free trial of 30 days so like when i read this book i really liked it but why i started cleaning up was because of this book called alchemist by paulo coelho so there's a line in that book which goes something like when you clean something you clean your soul and that line just impacted me really really well the moment i read that line i was a like totally different person after that and ever since i can't stand the sight of dirt or i can't stand the sight of clutter just sort of resonates with the type of person you are a home obviously resonates with the person you are if there's mess all around you there's obviously going to be mess inside you outer condition is always going to make an impact on your emotions it's going to make you sad or it's not going to make you angry and you probably won't even realize that so cleaning up is one of those life changing habits that everybody needs to adopt and make sure you do that the next tip is to start reading audiobooks audiobooks absolutely changed my life audiobooks and podcasts to be specific because one you can read them anytime anywhere two they make your brain actively work when you're reading a book you actively work as well but sometimes while reading audio books you your brain works much faster because somebody is telling you the things and you're judging if this person is saying the right things or the wrong things and the way you interact with an audio book is entirely different i discovered story till about 6 or 7 months ago and ever since my life has never been the same recently even spotify was launched in india So Spotify has a lot of amazing podcasts. And same thing for podcasts as well. It makes your brain actively interact with the people who are providing you knowledge. There's so much knowledge out there in the world that only if you listen to audiobooks and podcasts you can imbibe them into you. There's a feeling of you know feeling knowledgeable, feeling intellectual that comes when you listen to audiobooks and podcasts. So it's definitely a life-changing habit. Also whatever field you're in, if you're reading audiobooks or podcasts in that field yes obviously you're going to have a changed life because you're going to learn more new things and the more you learn the more you earn and the more you have time for yourself the more you to have time for your family and everything else in the world more or less it just changes your whole life so please listen to audiobooks and podcasts the next life changing habit that i've adopted is journaling now i'm not very consistent with journaling i never was i'm trying to be very consistent So like I I can't write every day but I write about every week. So I have like four journals right now. One is a Q&A journal which is like questions and answers. The ne- next is sort of a like plain journal you can write anything in it. The next is a very artsy journal which has like four lines for each day in every page. So yeah, that's there and the last journal is the one that I've totally used for my work. So I think I should not count it in. But the thing is the journals help me a lot in planning everything ahead. So you can have the best types of weeks and have a better future if you plan out everything for the week on the night before or plan out everything for the whole week on Sundays because that's so so important so on Sunday we are mostly relaxed and when we see what's ahead in front of us we automatically create a plan in our subconscious how we are going to manage all of it and once you do that it's going to become much more easier so journaling not only helps in this this is a very practical use but if you journal and write things that come from your heart it makes your heart lighter maybe you do not have a lot of friends with whom you can share everything that you want to no worries just write them down in a journal i promise you it feels just the same and you feel a lot more lighter after you write down your feelings your sad feelings happy feelings any sort of feelings in a journal so journaling is one of the life changing habits that i've adopted the next habit is something you know about already like pretty much so i read every day and the thing is i read the first thing in the morning i read 
the last thing at night. I prefer reading non-fiction in the morning and fiction at night. Why? Because non-fiction wakes me up and fiction puts me to sleep. That's the sort of cycle that I follow and throughout the day also I read sometimes but I never ever for a single day stop reading. Why? Because reading makes you a better person overall. Readers are leaders. I'm not a leader yet but who knows maybe I will be. So if you want a better life, if you want to change your life, if you want to change the person that you are for the good or the bad, read books. And I say for the good or the bad because if you choose bad books, you can actually become a really bad person. So be sure that you are picking the right books and for that you have my channel right next habit is light workout now it's definitely not possible for me to go to a gym right now because i'm already so busy like i don't think i have any time for it anymore but i have incorporated light workouts through the day so like five or ten minutes of a few exercises now obviously that doesn't have a great impact but over time it adds up i do have some health problems and it also helps in managing them so please make sure that you're doing some light workout now also like once you are habituated you can work out more and you can work out more easily so the next step is to meditate meditating is one of the life-changing habits that every doctor asks you to adopt so I had finally decided to do it when I got this app called headspace and like for the first 30 days like headspace worked really well for me for 30 or 60 days I had the premium membership too but after that it sort of got like boring because it was saying the same things again and again but I did learn how to meditate and the thing is when you start meditating you feel much more stress free because I was getting stressed at that point of time thinking oh my god what am I going to do there's so much to do at college there's so much to do at work there's so much to do for YouTube and I was feeling like I can't do it. I was feeling very burnt out and I was at, at a point I was like, let me quit everything. Meditating helped me understand myself better and it also helped me do better in whatever I was doing because it was just like five minutes of meditation every day and I, if that is the impact that meditation for five minutes has, just imagine what type of impact it will have if you do it for hours every day. But obviously that's not what I'm asking you to do. Just incorporate this habit into your life and your life will obviously not be the same anymore. Looking for positivity. It's so easy to find the negative things because the world is a pretty shitty place. And the thing is you can keep whining about that but on the larger scale there's nothing you can do right now. You can only do things if you achieve something in life. So to get there you need to look for the positivity around you or just find a problem and find a solution to it and give people the solution. So there are two things you can do. Either keep whining about it and saying negative things or you can say positive things. When you say positive things, you attract positive things. Yaar, law of attraction. So think positive most of the time. For some of us, thinking negatively just comes organically and I'm not one of such person. But I have learned how to like change my thoughts, rewire my thoughts and think about the positive thing instead. So earlier if I had a plan with someone, I would probably be sad if they cancelled it or if I had to cancel it. But right now I'm like, oh my god, thank god I can stay at home. Um, I'm not an introvert but then also like I'm not an extra, I'm sort of an ambivert honestly. <laughs> so yeah, I, that's how I have learned to see things and not just in personal life but even in professional life. Most of the times when I don't get a deal, I feel very happy about it because I I feel that maybe if I had got the deal, it would have gotten me in a bigger mess. So yeah, it's okay if I didn't get it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get more deals like this or even better deals. So just see the positive things, see the silver linings and your life will be better forever. The next is obviously self-love. Uh, this is like the most popular word right now. Self-love is basically doing things that make you love yourself. And yeah, it's sort of true most of the times we end up hating ourselves because the society always teaches us that we shouldn't admire ourselves, that's the wrong thing to do, we shouldn't be proud of ourselves, we shouldn't like how we look, we shouldn't like anything about us and only be happy if others appreciate us. So when we don't get that appreciation from other people, which like a lot of people don't, even I don't, so I'm pretty sure it hurts. So when you start loving yourself, when you start practicing self-love, things absolutely change. A lot of things in this list are things that help you love yourself but there are much more things to do which you can obviously understand by googling a little bit and it will help you like change the person that you are the next habit will change your stomach or like gut life forever 
and that is having lemon honey water in the morning, warm water. So the thing is, uh, when I wake up in the morning, I used to have this habit of having green tea, which is also a great habit to have. But then I shifted to having warm water with lemon and honey, and it just it just changes your day. It makes you feel so active. You don't tire easily. It flushes out the toxins, and it is one of the best habits to adopt. It hardly takes a minute to make, and you'll be feeling amazing for hours. So I highly suggest you guys to adopt this habit. I found this on YouTube. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you might have known about this from YouTubers and also do it already. But if you, just in case you don't, please let me know how it affects your life. And the last life changing habit that I recently adopted was smelling a little bit lavender oil before I sleep. So one of my subscribers had actually recommended this because I was having sleep issues and I've never had sleep issues after that. This uh, essential oil actually induces sleep naturally. So that helps, that helps a lot. So thanks to the subscriber who said this, I forgot the name, but this has actually impacted my life in a really nice way. I'm, I'm sleeping better. So I'm being better through the whole day. So it's, it's a great habit. If you can just get some lavender essential oil on Amazon. I got the Alain one. So I'll leave a link in the description below. So make sure you're grabbing it if you are having sleep issues as well. It has worked out so well for me. I'm sure it will work out for you as well. So yeah guys, these are the 10 life changing habits that have changed my personal life. If you are adopting any of them, if you already have adopted any of them, leave that in the comment section below. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you like it. I will be back with another video next week and till my next video.